I'm Alex Fullerton and I'm the fashion director of Stylist magazine. I think the key words that sum up Bowdoin's Spring 14 collection are fun and sunshine and print and happy. So they're a little bit abstract, but they're, they're the feelings you get when you look at the clothes. Next season's trends, um, the ones that I'm kind of going to be focusing on are pastels, particularly lilac is the colour of the season, um, reinvented shirts, maximalism is kind of the death of minimalism for us for next season, um, sportswear and kind of Victoriana and lace, they're all major trends. So loads of those trends are luckily, happily at Bowdoin for Spring 14. Um, the first one is lilac, which there's so many pastels around, but lilac really is the colour that kind of sung out from all of the catwalks. I think that kind of like a basic Breton top, you can never have too many, and it's brilliant that it's been updated for spring in the colour of the season, so this is an absolute must-have. Then another trend that I'm really into is um, kind of English country garden florals. So every summer there's always kind of like a floral thing going on, but often it'll kind of be like a big splashy bright print or a jungle print, but very much what I noticed at the shows was this kind of like delicate, little bit Liberty influence, but very English country garden. And this kind of wild shirt is the perfect piece for it because you could throw that on over a bikini in high summer or you could wear it tucked into a pencil skirt for work and then just totally get that trend nailed. With every trend, if you're a little bit kind of scared about jumping into it, um, accessories are the easiest way to do it. So you could wear kind of like a really normal, simple outfit, but just have this pop of bright floral print and then be able to kind of like really tick off the trend. And this is good because you can tuck the strap inside it and you can go from day to night. Shoulder bag to clutch. So when I saw the catwalks as well, there were so many coats and it was really quite an unsummery season for designers. This is gorgeous. I probably would wear this over jeans and kind of a sweatshirt. It's very dressy and you could wear it to kind of like a nice spring wedding or something. I'll casual it down a little bit. Um, and it's this really clever raffia fabric and the stripes, I've learnt, are kind of embroidered in rather than just printed, which just makes it a little bit more high quality and a little bit more of a piece. I think what you wear makes a whole world of difference to how the rest of your day goes. So I always plan my outfits the night before and I couldn't cope with trying to pull together a look on the morning. As I run for the train, it's got to be done the night before. And then when you're set, you can go to bed and have a proper good night's sleep.